Ben, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I nominate Daniel. I haven't uh, altered since last week. The, uh, what's reiterated the fact is that I've been back here now for a day and I haven't really met Daniel. He seems to be a performer and I would much rather someone that was more genuine in the house. How does it affect your experience of the house? I don't want to meet a performer, I want to meet Daniel. So if everyone was performing, I'd never get to have a yeah, good level of communication and understanding with each person. How is that negative for your experience in the house? It's negative in that I'm not taking everything I possibly could away from actually getting to meet Daniel as a person. If I wanted to see a performer, I would go to a movie and see a performance. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, nominate one point to Belinda. I've got to know Belinda over a week. It's a decision made entirely on my observations. There was an occasion where she uh, spoke out of school. She spoke about something about me to another two people and it got back to me. I'm a believer that if someone's got something to say, say it to the person. And I believe that that would affect me and that I would have a false sense of security knowing that she may be talking behind my back. Have you feel settled in now? Yeah, fine. Oh, good. Yeah, really good. She reminds me of a grandma for some reason. <laughs> the way she potters around yeah. and she. Yeah. yeah, you know those, um, how they do them up in a bun? Yeah. Yeah, I think like that's why. And little glasses Quite down nice. here. In real life, I would not associate with someone like that. I just would not. Yeah, I can honestly say I get along with you the best out of mm. almost anyone that I've met in here. You know, Joe and Dan and all them, they've got their own little world and I just don't like it. I just think it's a piece of shit. <laughs> Leah, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, it's really tough this week. I think I'll go for Daniel again. Are you going for Daniel? Yes, I am. Yep, going for Daniel for two points. I think a lot of the same reasons. I think he, um, I think under the circumstances, I find him false a lot of the time. Um, this definitely reflects me. I get agitated, it annoys me, and I find myself not exactly responding well to that. And examples of that is when the intruder, like, um, you know, he sort of became quiet when he realised his jokes were over and, you know, things like that. And then the second intruders came in, he sort of, um, revoked his position as you know comedian in the house and you know sort of to put his place and I just find him really fake. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I might go for Joe, Joanne. Are um, you? Yes, Joanne. Um, I find that she sort of is trying to take the motherly aspect a little bit too far sometimes. She says that cleaning is her way of dealing with the situation but somehow I find it very irritating. I find it a bit hard like to, you know, relax in the house without having Joe clean under my feet. This could be a good thing, but it could be but I find it annoying. Joanne, who do you nominate for two points and why? Um, this week I nominate Leah for two points. Um, once again for the same reasons I have in the last two weeks. Um, and if not more now, then the last Can you two weeks. Tell me those reasons again. Please. Um, okay, well she's very abrupt with me and it upsets me at times and sometimes I just want to like you know I'm trying to assist her and you know I'll do things and she just gets annoyed with me and frustrated with me and I, I feel that from her um, and I feel a bit of um, tension between us um, actually a lot of tension between us um, Could you tell me about you not her? Um, yeah I just get upset Who do you nominate for one point for eviction um, and why? For one point I nominate Daniel um, once again I don't feel a strong connection with him. Um, I've tried to get to know him over the past three weeks um, and that I've realised that there's a lot more to him than I know. Um, however, he's not letting me in as much. Um, he's letting me in a little bit, but not as much as I'd want to know because I don't understand him. Like he says some strange things and I'm just not on his wavelength. I don't understand where he's going and that makes me a little bit uneasy. So. Um, um, Again, you're talking about things that they're doing, and that they're doing. It's not telling you about. I'm, you. I'm frustrated by him at times because I don't understand him.
Claire, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, this way, nominate for two points. Uh, Belinda, I just still kind of think that her devotion, uh, which is a good thing, devotion to cleaning, is still fa feel, uh, making me feel a little bit uncomfortable um, with um, perhaps feeling myself a little bit um, conscious of my contribution to cleanliness because hers seems a little bit excessive. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Uh, for one point, I nominate Daniel. I have some fantastic conversations with Daniel, although at times during those conversations, I feel as if um, at times he's talking over me and therefore doesn't really pay much attention to what I'm saying and feel a little bit conscious of that and uncomfortable. Daniel, hi. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I'm going to vote for Leah for two. Um, just because those outbursts that, she's, that she has, like we've now realised it's probably best for her to not have those in front of the house and it's better for her to have them in here. But in the meantime, it, it brings the vibe of everything down and, and one feels like, you know, it's a, it, she has to be consoled and be told that she should look at things a different way and, and it's, it's very tiresome. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, I'm going to nominate Saxon, not because I know him, but because he comes across as really cool and um, a great guy. Um, I'm going to cite tactical reasons that, that, that um, I think he'd be very popular on the outside and, um, and that's a threat tactically.